Hey everyone, welcome to the Crypto ZX channel. If you're new to the channel, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Now, let's get right into today's topic. If you guys are looking at the screen, you guys already know what we'll be discussing today. Everything quant. What's happening with QNT token? What are some next price targets we should be looking at? Should we be worried? A lot of things to cover. If you like these kind of updates, smash that like button and come join the Crypto ZX army. Looking at the price of quant right now, currently trading at $145. It is down about 3.7% in the last 24 hours in USD comparative, also down about 1.7% in Bitcoin, and about 1.8% in Ethereum comparative over the last 24 hours. Before we jump into the charts, guys, I just want to say don't panic. I don't want you guys to panic, especially for, for the long haul. You do see Quant uh, be one of the top performers this next bull cycle, and I still do believe QNT is going to be one of the very first altcoins that are going to recover fastest uh, you know, to their all-time highs in this bear market. And I've said this since the get-go, since closer to the bottom. And uh, you know, if we're looking at the price of uh, Quant right now, $145 with a market cap of $2.1 billion. Yes, you heard that right. But look what's very interesting, and this is something a lot of people don't focus on. The overall 24-hour trading volume right now is only 37.4 million. 37.4 million, yes. Now you may come out and say, Crypto ZX, what are you talking about? 20, 37 million dollars is a lot of you know buying pressure. You know, unsurprisingly, that is not true. Projects with massive you know followings, especially the top 100 projects, especially when the bull market returns volume is always in like 100 million 200 million some even in the billion dollars and um if we're looking across uh the markets right now for um you know quant you guys can see you see all the major exchanges out there that have qnt listed on their exchanges so number one liquidity is definitely not an issue but what's really impressive is that you know qnt has continued making these kind of strides with not much buying pressure. And that's what a lot of people tend to ignore. But remember, don't underestimate QNT. There are big, massive players that are eyeing QNT. A lot of sophisticated investors that understand the overall market reversal. As I've mentioned, QNT has been outperforming literally the entire market besides Matic to be specific. Um, obviously you guys can say Aptos, but Aptos is a brand new coin and hasn't really seen a bear market. Uh, but you guys can see QNT from Lowe's, you know, the bear market has been one of the fastest uh, coin that has gone to recovery. And if I bring out the measuring tool for you guys, this is what really gets me excited. If I bring out the measuring tool for you guys, we are down about 66.79% from all time highs, if we measure from all time highs. And you know, what did I say last update, which was two days ago now? You know, we were trying to retest this level of resistance. We saw the price of quant go past this. And, you know, I was very confident that, you know, we will see the price start heading back into the 78.6, I'm sorry, 61.8 Fibonacci retracement level and start really retest this level of resistance at that $225 mark. But obviously that was not going to happen in a matter of two days. But what I really wanted to see QNT do is, you know, stay above this level of resistance, which is super important and you guys can clearly tell how important this is because we literally wicked above there two three different times and all three different times it was a rejection and one negative thing that we can take away from this is that the overall buying pressure is just not there for it to hold that level that's something that we do need to keep in mind right now and not only do we need to keep that in mind obviously bitcoin has seen a little bit of a pullback uh, yesterday we saw BTC hit a new yearly high obviously a little bit of a cool off still Bitcoin is above 23,500 and that is definitely quite bullish we do need to see a little bit of a breather here and there because nothing's going to go straight up forever but QNT man has been really really impressive uh, yes obviously something that I want to see is the price to be above this level of resistance at the $154 to be supported by this level of resistance. Uh, but that's not the case right now. It hasn't been playing out. The worst case scenario would be if Bitcoin were to see a retracement, we could see the price go down to the $135 mark. But depending on how 
big that retracement really is if i do bring up the measuring tool for you guys that would mean a move of about seven percent can that happen that can definitely happen right now but nonetheless like i've said i believe once qnt really goes above this level of resistance and actually closes above here what i mean by close is let me tell you guys what i exactly mean so you guys get a better pers better understanding as to what really i want qnt to do is so let's say the price goes above this level and this time around if it bounces above this level of support that's a bullish indicator because every single time we haven't really seen qnt do that obviously the ftx collapse happened uh, i believe we would have been supported by here but wow ftx collapse happened which is not in our control impacted the entire market so you need to keep that into consideration but like i said we need something like this to play out because this will make us break past this um, level of resistance and once we break out of here guys and go into the 0.50 fibonacci retracement level as i've already mentioned that's all time high conversations and you know things can start looking very very exciting but that is it for today's update guys let me know down below what you guys think obviously if we're looking at the btc dominance index has been decreasing obviously more money flowing back into altcoins now which is a positive indication for um, altcoins to rally but i would love to know your thoughts down below what you guys think where you could see the price of qnt going and let me know if you guys are enjoying these updates i know you guys are showing tremendous amount of support so continue liking these videos and commenting down below i'll see you guys tomorrow it's been crypto zx and peace out